I'm very excited about this one. Behind me is Bomera's Castle, the greatest castle that was never built. Bomeris literally translates in Welsh to beautiful marsh. When it was built, this was all marshland. This is the fourth of Edward I's great castles. This was the last one he built. It was never finished. It's phenomenal. It is like the most nearly perfect medieval castle. I'm sure Billy will give you tons of information. We'll give you more history as we go, but we're gonna jump in because we're really excited. shooting at you from here. First they shoot you from there and then as you come up they're going to hit you from there and they're going to hit you from there and then by the time you get to here is when they start dropping stuff on your head like boiling hot sand that gets into your armor and melts you alive and then you're unfortunately met by a portcullis and probably a few doors uh, all while getting shot at and then you think finally you've broken through we've lost taken heavy losses don't worry, you've now reached the inside, and yet again, there is another giant fortress for you to get through. I'm sure this is for the kids, but they basically say in this whole information board that um, you would hear hammers and stuff ringing out when like hammers hit steel So like make the castle seem like it was back in the day and I'm sure the kids coming here make much noise, but uh I'm a giant kid. So here we go. I Feel bad for Lydia's ears This is stupid fun A quick lesson on how castles were built. Um, usually what it was is there's an outer wall and an inner wall. And so those are usually built and then the inside is filled full of stone and mortar and stuff like that. Uh, most of the time you just see outer and inner walls. Behind me, the inner wall has fallen and you can actually see all of the stuff they would have dropped inside the inner and outer wall which is what that is, which is why it's not as neat as this down here. It's pretty cool. This place is just absolutely astounding and we haven't even made it that far in. Just to give you a brief little history, this was the brainchild of a one of the best medieval architecture uh, guys of medieval castles of his day. The same guy who's built the other castles we looked at, James of St. George. However, this was his magnum opus, if you will, because they were building on a marsh which means he got to pick the dimensions of everything. 
whereas the other castles were being built on either existing structures that were already there or they had to specifically fit the landscape like you're building on some rocks and it needs to fit that exact footprint here he was able to build exactly what he wanted and he did and it is absolutely magnificent edward the first commissioned the castle and died before it was ever finished sadly um, which means the money actually stopped flowing into the castle at that point and shortly after his death james of saint george also passed away before the castle was finished second gatehouse there's another one on the other side same thing two big round towers gate in the middle all kinds of people shooting at you up on the corner here if you look up there's one of two remaining carved gargoyles that were part of the gutter system where the water would have drained out of We just finished walking the inner courtyard between the main castle and the outer wall, and now we're gonna go check out the main castle itself. They have a one-way system set up to go through these parts of the uh, inner castle walls. When you go in this way, you'll end up 
passing by the chapel. It's the most complete part of the castle. You really get an idea of how beautiful it would have been when it was finished and when it was furnished. It's a gorgeous space. Don't miss that part, it's beautiful. You walk through this entire section of wall, it kicks you out on the other corner. I'm not sure if we can go in on the other side, but we're gonna go check it out. We are now in the Northern Gatehouse. This would have been the king's quarters if he had ever lived long enough for this to be fully completed. You can tell just because of the size of it, the size of the windows, and just the grandeur in general. It's really sad that it was never fully completed. Today is the coldest day we've had so far. It's chilly. I really would love to go. I don't. I love the fireplaces and all of the castles. That's one of my favorite things to look at. I don't know why I love them so much. And gosh dog it, I just want to go to a castle that has an intact fireplace with a fire in it. I just want to see what that would look like, what it would feel like, how warm the room would have been. <sighs> I need it. We are on top of the inner walls, and if you look out, you'll see the outer walls. Now, if you imagine an army deciding to show up and trying to siege this castle or attack it, and they'd run up and they'd start attacking the outer walls while the outer wall defenders are shooting with crossbows and anything they can, but if you notice, they're so much, they're so much lower. We're higher, so we would also be up here and the levels below us shooting at the invading army not hitting the people below us because we were higher up. Once or if those walls were breached, they would retreat back to this wall, come up and we would continue shooting again and then they would have to get through the interior defenses. It is very cold right now. Uh, Lydia and I are freezing, but we can't stop looking at how beautiful this place is. You can see the gatehouse behind me that is a little more complete than the, f the front one. And it would have had, the side that's facing us would have had another set of windows and those towers on the inner towers would have been even taller than all of that. If this place was finished, it really would have been the perfect medieval castle.
another beautiful castle and probably the best medieval castle I have ever seen and I have seen a lot. This one was amazing. If you get the chance and you're in or around Bromaris, come see this castle. If you like castles, even if you don't like castles, this is the best representation of a medieval castle I've ever seen. Even though it's unfinished, it's just the best. And I want to build a miniature version yeah. for us to live in. <laughs> that wraps up the big four of Edward I's castles. I can't remember exactly how many he built during this time, but he built and restored an, a lot. an insane amount of castles in such a short period of time. The sad part about these four in particular is that they weren't used much after his time, but the wonderful part is because of that they weren't updated, they weren't renovated, they are exactly as they would have been then, and that's something that's not as common to get to see because usually if people continue living there, then they've upgraded, they've added plumbing, they've added toilets, they've added creature comforts, so you really get such an accurate medieval representation in these four castles and they're phenomenal. Now we're going to get out of the cold and go find some food because Lydia needs some hot tea. It is so cold. <laughs> but 100% worth it. Come see this castle. The entire time we've been here. I love them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> After we got done at the castle, got a little something to eat, we decided to come back to the place that we're currently staying because Lydia and I have to move on, unfortunately. Something about this place that we've been staying the last few nights, I feel like we haven't showed you guys how awesome it is quite enough. The views are spectacular. It's a wonderful unit for two people. If you're looking for a place to come visit in North Wales, definitely check this place out. We will link this place below if you want to check it out. And if you have any questions about it, definitely comment below while I'm mentioning that. Go ahead and like the video and show it to your friends. Show it to your friends. Show it to your friends. Here's a few of our favorite things at this holiday cottage. The sunroom that we've turned into a charging station. All of these awesome recliner chairs. <laughs> okay, hold on. Recliner, I can, why can't I get to go back? Recliner chairs. All of these awesome recliner chairs and cozy blankets. This amazing electric fireplace. The beautiful horses in the pasture next door. This amazingly comfortable bed. <sighs> these comfy towel robes. This oh so comfortable hot tub. And this amazing view. 